M-O-N. Connect and enter, ready, aim, aim, fire, and who doesn't remember? Those old movies, maybe not even that old, where the execution of something was pressing a red button or pulling a lever to activate a guarded clock or to confirm an action of great proportions. So, the colors continue to be agreed according to standards to indicate fields that are more critical than others on the screens of the systems. After all, a visual indication is always very welcome. In addition to sound warnings, fonts with different formats to also contribute to this identification. However, the enter key, yes that famous key present on keyboards, which in many have too, has become the agent and also the sound and visual identity of a performance and thus has changed the scenario of decision-making moments. For those who still consider pressing the tenter, key only confirms something, it is worth remembering that in the complexity associated with software, there is much to be evaluated in relation to what is being executed, hidden from the eyes of those in front of the screen, but which has relevant impacts and millions of actions being carried out at that time. So, let's walk through the three new commands that have guided the way for our decisions or even our preparation to do something in this digital environment in which we are inserted. Way for our decisions or even our preparation to do something in this digital environment in which we are inserted. Turn on before, we basically heard this word to activate the sound or the television or the telephone in our homes, but as everything has evolved considerably, hearing this word today, it is practically impossible to know for what it is desired. After all we are in a moment in which almost everything that we touch or see, it needs to be turned on, I think even we, we are getting into this rhythm. With the constant pressure, the need to be connected to everything. And at all times, it means that we also have moments and I could say, that many moments in our daily lives, that we are disconnected from. Everything else that we would need to pay attention to. Yeah, basically we are already turned off, even without pressing A button, but because of the mental confusion we are already dealing with in our daily lives. There is so much information that the moments when we have to stop, to simply not think about anything, have become rare and, for some, almost inaccessible. It is not the end of the world, but it is the end of our self-control, which ceased to be ours and became what we demand. This control we can naturally regain, but it is first necessary to be aware of what is happening to us and take control. Indicating what is necessary, what is fundamental. What we do not need to know and what can be discarded. Let's leave this on and off procedure to the machines and to us. The discernment and responsibility of what to do, when to do it and why to do it. C-O-N-N-E-C-T-N times when to say that you know someone. It shows that this person follows you on a social network or that you liked or received a like from them on your digital profile. It is really a strange reality of relationship, but one that has evolved and become our normal or at least normal for some. The number of conversations and visits drop drastically when we consider that making a video call is enough to catch up. Although we still have another challenge that has become real. For many who only know this form of communication, which is the verbal, personal, and spontaneous communication. Far from a written conversation, which is cold and not always frank. The look in the eyes, face to face has become a phobia for some. Who run to stay behind a screen and from there ask the world what? It wants, without fear, no restraint, and no shame. It's almost funny if it were a joke, but it hasn't been. When we see the difficulty of some professionals in communicating personally with others, not only verbally, but writing without summarizing words, inserting emoticons as a way of expressing what they have no idea about how to write or out of laziness to develop a text longer than two lines, the escape from human connectivity going towards digital connectivity, 
demonstrates how much we still need to evolve as humans. As we perceive with these digital novelties, the lack of control, tact and awareness that we still have of our limits, our characteristics, and our own opinions. What comes to add has caused frequent subtractions in our communication, reducing our greatest quality, which is to think. One of our main solutions for something that seems so simple would be to go back to being human instead of just wanting to be machines. We cannot lose contact with people as well as the experience that this gives us when relating to others. We can add the digital world to our lives, but not replace them with this universe. May we be aware of this? ENTERWE created something fantastic, which changed everyone's lives. For the better in many ways, and we can even say that we managed to make better use of our time, learn more, have access to much more information than we could imagine in our wildest dreams. And now, where are we, where are we, where do we stop in this universe of information? The possibilities of knowledge are greater today, without a doubt, and they show us how much information we have and how much we don't have. Regardless, a key has become the very vision of command. Control, decision, and this key, so simple, determines what we do and will do in our day to day. We are not yet in a moment of living with androids. Robots or beings that are our copies, but that are not generated. By humans, but by machines, but this time will soon come. After all we like to create things, to do what we do. To explore what we want to explore and just stay in command. At least, until the moment we still can, because perhaps enter, is no longer a decision of our species. In this digital universe, we end up creating a substitute for ourselves. And this is irreverent, because we like to do a lot of things. But we are delegating various activities to the machines, and they, in turn, are learning to do it accurately, but without understanding. Why? How long and at what moment it is necessary to evolve or even stop? It is worth constantly reminding ourselves of our role with technology, as well as our role with ourselves. It is obvious that technology as a whole comes to benefit us and that is why we need to understand to what extent we must press enter and when we must still look into the eyes shake hands listen punch or simply still realize how much good is feel who we are my name is Odair garcia aruka an it professional for over 25 years married father and writer author of the book technology a career of dreams, behavior and procedure, and also of the series of medieval books Kaluni. Get to know my boo.